Hi guys, the 14th Prime here, back with another video review, and today we're looking at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Bombshell. So here he is in his bug mode. Before we look at the figure, pack packaging, packaging first. Bombshell, card included, Transformers, legs, nice big jump in the back, it's authentic. I suppose it'll be a Decepticon symbol. That's going to be like my major issue, I'm probably going to mention it in every single video. About many things. Bug mode, 8 steps, bot mode, and one sentence bio which says Insecticon, Master of Mind Control. So yeah. Then nothing on the sides. Then done with that. And as it said previously, back up. Card. I like it, looks cool. I just really hate that still. That back where it belongs. But here is Bombshell in his bug mode, and first we'll look at Scrapnel or Shrapnel or Sharp Shot, whatever you call them right now. And they look nice together. I mean, Hard Shell's a lot smaller. They still look pretty nice together. The purple's just about match. Now, if we get a kickback in the future, we don't know, but that'd be very nice to see, nonetheless. But Bombshell himself does look pretty cool. Got little bug eyes. This rotates forward and down. These aren't really meant to like completely rotate, but well, actually, for that there, he kind of is like I don't know if this is on the actual bug where you can just that. These things can move. The legs can move together or independently if you so choose. But I mean, I don't think you can get dynamic poses out of this bug. Unless you have very smart dynamic poses, then I'm, it's kind of impressive actually. But let's go ahead and get him into his robot mode. Now, before, wait, before we do that, there is one thing I'd like to mention. He seems like he was going to have a gun mode, but he never got a gun mode. Because, A, he has 5mm pegs for kneecaps. B, his hands on the top of them, which I'll show this in, in robot mode, have gun barrels on them. So when you can, like, fan ma make a gun, if you so choose. I mean, not really trying here, but you can. If you really wanted to, you could. But anyway, bring, bring out the arm, arms like already done. Flip down the legs, rotate 360, split them. It's a really loud noise. Then flip these back over the legs. Fold the arms down. Flip these out. I think this was to flip back. I can't. I can't quite remember. Let me look on the box. I have enough to stay out, which I usually like them staying out. Flip this down, flip that out. You can kind of like angle this so it's more G1, but, well. But here he is in his robot mode. And I really like this. I think this is pretty dang cool. Thought he's pretty dang awesome. Love the robot mode. Speaking of Insecticon, update Insecticons. Give me a moment to finish transforming Scrapnel or Sharp Shot or Shrapnel. Whatever you want to call them nowadays. The toy was called Scrapnel. This one's actually Bombshell. If I call them Hard Shell at all, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here they are together. Which, he's a lot shorter. <laughs> And also just one other comparison. Maybe still over here. Right front of the there he is. Eh, stand up straight. He's still in his pose. Here he is with the other new mold of this wave for Legend Glasses. Power Glide. Which it would have been his gunmate. Stupid Hasbro. But they they look nice together. I think hard shell might actually be the hard, the tallest of them all. Bombshell darn it. See, follow up on influence. And rise of the dark spark influence. So terrible. But anyway, articulation. Head doesn't do anything. Well, 
Yeah, don't do anything. Arms, rotate full 360. Bend at the elbow, rotate out. And I guess you can count that as in that movement. Well, was I don't know. He has a waist through the transformation, which is cool. Don't see that very often in a legend class. Legs move forward, back, bend the knee, and that's basically it. They're stuck at this uh, pose, but like I said earlier, gun barrels for hands. On his hands. Which that's cool, but I still really think that there was honestly a gun mode for him. But Hasbro like gutted that out of the instructions at the last minute. For some reason. I don't know. Overall, I give this figure an 8.7. I think it's a pretty dang cool Legend Class figure. Really love him. Wish he would have had that gun mode because I kind of want to see how that turned out. Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say. So, be sure to check out my channel for more video reviews and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out Megatronus186 and Nerd Slash Key Club. Links in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime. Signing out.